How do you deal with chat being mean when you rage? I wouldn't take it. That's just mean. Um, Twitch chat thrives off of like making fun of the chat and the streamer. That's how Twitch works. Twitch chat is the happiest when it can make fun of the streamer. So like when the streamer messes up, naturally a lot of chat oh likes to God. laugh and and make joke out of it. Most of the time, it's fine and funny. Sometimes, you know, it's a bit hurtful. Like when I'm feeling utter pain and depression, you know, doing something bad, you know, some people in chat like laugh at me and stuff. Of course, I'm gonna feel bad, but like, I understand. I can't blame them, it's not their fault. They're just trying to have fun. And at the end of the day, I want them to have fun too. And making fun of like mistakes is a good way to, you know, get over it and it's, it's fine. It's just something that, um, it would hurt me and make me feel bad. That's inevitable, but I just have to learn to, um, Basically, don't be a bitch and just deal with it. But at the same time, it would be nice if the people that do make fun of me when I mess up or get mad to be a little bit more, you know, how do I say, human and understand that um, I'm a human being. But, you know, there would always be those people, I guess. I kissed the girls to try it. True story. Unfortunate. Well, I did, actually. I kissed like three girls in my life. Four girls. Four girls exactly and only like once did i actually want to kiss her or well, i thought i did i was like 12 12 and 15 years old me i mean not them <laughs> huh. Cringe. i was 12 and i kissed my first girl the, the first girl and by the time i kissed the last one i was 15 because i don't like girls they're icky yeah and then after 15 years old is when i realized yeah i like cock country road stay me home to the place where i belong west vagina at the mountains take me home country roads did i put the reverb on no that's just my beautiful voice i don't know what you're talking about one mississippi two zero oh one Mississippi two Joe oh, Dude Mississippi two Joe Come on please BLJs are the dumbest shit ever man One Mississippi two dude Oh fuck off I I looks like today might be a Zelda day. Why don't I show input display? Because I don't have one. <laughs> Picture of a hot dog dot com is actually a site. Wow. You should open it. It's actually the most wholesome site I've ever visited. I know like three hundred of you guys are probably searching it up right now. So long, homosexual Bowser. I missed both the fucking coins. Is this is some sort of joke, man? They ask you how you are, you just have to say it. All right, you guys ready for a song? All right, let's go. I guess I kinda lie the way you numbed all the pain. Now the day bleeds into nightfall. And you're not here to get me through it all To let the guard down And then you pull the rug I was getting kinda used to being someone you loved That song almost got to me for a second I got a little bit emotional <laughs> Thank you for listening Alright guys, we're doing OT runs We're getting straight into it we're not thinking twice. I need to get some, um, dick. I mean, lip gloss. My lips are dry. I don't know, you could sing. I'm amazed. I've been taking sing class, sing class for like, uh, two years. I take it very seriously, so I'm trying to get as best as I can. As good as I can. And I'm gonna start doing singing streams a lot from now on. Because I officially got soundproofing, so. We also got a drum set that will be arriving in about a week and a half. We will be doing drum streams as well. Having good natural sound is a genetic trait. Thank you, I appreciate it. What I struggle most with Omega is that I get bursts of nerves because singing in front of people is still weird to me. And then all sort of like technique control goes out the window when I get nervous. Apart from that, I of course don't know how to transition from natural voice to mixed voice healthily and for it to sound as good. I could sing like an entire ACD song, ACDC song in um, head voice, like perfectly, but songs that require a lot of register changes. I asked, we did, uh, we did Californication in our concert and I had to play drums and do the backup vocals in the chorus and it's hard as fuck because the drums are not easy for that song well they're easy drums but they're not they're not simple patterns so the chorus and the drums of uh californication is like doom pa doom to pa doom doom pa doom it's like a lot of parts to it and then I have to sing and keep time at the same time and it was quite hard but it was also a lot of fun because you know I love hard things 
Why does it hurt so much when you get hit in the stomach? Because your belly is a rebellious piece of shit. I'm dumb. I'm stupid, I forgot. Is it easier to sing to stream or IRL? Um, It's easier to sing to stream, of course. It's, it's easy to do anything on stream because there's no people. There's nobody in person in front of you watching you and like, it's, it's just different. I could talk about whatever I want on stream and I don't care. But if I talk about certain things in like person, it's like weird. Like, dude, I have 670 people watching me. If I was in a fucking auditorium with seven, 670 people watching me, like, in person in front of me, it would be, like, a billion times more weird and scary to sing. You're just money bags, like Simply says. <laughs> it's way more comfy for me to play drums in front of people than it is to sing. I think that's probably natural, to be honest. The singer in our band, one of the bands I play with, for him it's the opposite. He feels more comfortable singing than playing drums. For me, it's the other way around. Probably because I've been drumming for 10 years and only singing for two years. That's hard. Yeah, I can't. I could only play drums and sing at the same time if the drum beat is like super simple. If it gets at all complicated, it's I can't really sing and play at the same time. Like Californification, for example, playing drums and singing that at the same time was probably my biggest challenge I've ever had to do live. And I didn't mess up, thank God, but it was definitely challenging. Please grab the cock's ass. That sucked eggs. Hello, Furcho. Why? I don't understand why I'm feeling this. Do I have mods in my chat? Can we ban this Man of Steel character for the 2000th time? I'm not kidding. Man of Steel has been banned about 2,000 times or something like that. Rip. What? It worked. Oh my god. I, did th I think I just found a backup strat. I can't believe that worked. I can't believe that. Basically, I got a frame late on the pause, but I guess holding, pressing target and up there fixes that. Link, are you okay, bro? What's going on there, buddy? All right, Mario, wake up. I will right, we'll see if this works. Oh my god, it worked. All right. This child one kind of sucks, but whatever. Dude, move. Move your fucking head. Uh, suck my cock. I agree. Man, of Steel is okay in small doses. He's been being nice lately. He comes around like once a week or something. I think it's kind of funny too. Like, I don't really care so much, but like, I ban him so that the chat doesn't feel weird. Because it, it does get toxic of him just spamming shit in my chat. And the chat just looks like a shit show. Alright, Zelda, shut the fuck up. Alright, time to become 10 years older or some shit like that. Am I single? Yes. I'm very ready to mingle. So please mingle with me. Have you played any Kingdom Hearts game? No. Never played Kingdom Hearts. I never really played much like games that aren't Nintendo. Because I never owned a never owned a console that was Nintendo. That's the thing. Dude, that was my first ever emote. That was the first ever emote I submitted to Twitch. Baby Reggae. But it got declined. It got de denied because of the fucking weed thing. It's so good. <laughs> it's a good emote. It's fucking smart as hell. Fucking baby. A reggae baby smoking fucking weed, dude. I haven't read eight books. I haven't read eight books in my entire life. I probably read like three books in my whole life. I got it from my mom. My mom actually told me yesterday or two days ago when we called. She was like, she doesn't think that she ever read a single book. Touch my body. Touch my ass. Pump yourself full of estrogen until you milk me from your male nipples. Thank you, Man of Steel, for your input. I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> that was such a smart comment. I mean, come on. Oh my god. Pump yourself full of estrogen until you can milk me from your male nipples. <coughs> oh my god. Hello! Hey! Oh, uh, ah. Man of Steel legacy, dude. It's insane. I found out that I'm not the only stream that Man of Steel goes to, but I can't remember who else he goes <laughs> I can't remember what other streams he goes into. Yeah, trust me, I know you're main. I, I know that I'm your main. What does Man of Steel say in Simp Mom's stream? That is so scary. My mom just sent me a message saying that she went to her bank in Trinidad and asked if she can get $2,000 US or Euros cash for the end of August. And they said that there is a current ban on banks regarding foreign cash and they are not allowed to sell any foreign cash and they don't know if and when the ban would be lifted. Trinidad is literally becoming another dictatorship, dude. It's becoming like another Venezuela. It's fucking sad. You used to be able to get foreign cash and then like you could only get like $200 a month. Now you literally can't get any. It's, it's literally banned. Trinidad is over, dude. I've been saying it and I'm gonna say it again. Just getting worse and worse. Basically, like 
My family wants to get out of Trinidad, thank God. And um, it just keeps getting worse. And well, what I just told you is another example of why it's getting worse. Or the fact that it is getting worse. Would you ever do a stream where you play with no notch controller? Oh God. I mean, I speedrun Odyssey for a week and that controller has no notches. The people who speedrun Mario on Xbox controllers, man. And they're fucking amazing. And those controllers have no notches. <sighs> I haven't been grinding OT a shit ton either lately because because of how long it is. Like I do, I have one time. I have time to do one run. Try again in like three days. Oh, I almost got swallowed. Holy fuck! I was so close. My God. Nice. Getting that bottle on B without pausing is very fucking scary. Because if you fail it, the run's dead. Kind of. Not really. Well, you have two tries, really. Wait. Last time it took Simply five minutes to do this. <laughs> I want to see Simply trying to do guards. I could teach him guards. Guards is... The more you watch people speedrun 100% and do guards, the more you learn how to do guards. Guards is just understanding how the fuck it works. And I just learned how to do guards by watching ZFG do it like a billion times. So I just knew coming into this game, I kind of already knew more or less how they worked. This is my second run, Hustly. SRM is cool to watch like once, but then after that it's like meh. It's just more enjoyable for me to watch and play this category. How much this game is cutscenes? The first 30 minutes of this game, there's a lot of cutscenes. But then there's way less cutscenes and it becomes more gameplay. Because the beginning of the game is where most cutscenes are, is when you're introduced to everything and whatever. But right after Master Sword, it's pretty smooth sailing for a while. All the way up to like the end of Adult 2, I would say. Mid to end of Adult 2. I almost fell in the water! <laughs> I almost pulled a Clint there, dude. Holy shit. I remember watching you do speedruns in your basement. Oh, that was in my basement, Royal. If you're talking about 2016, that was in the... That was in like an attic above the office, above where my dad used to work in a store that he had. And it didn't even have like a ceiling and it was so short that I had to bend over to like move around inside. It was like the most ghetto fucking stream setup ever. And I play, I streamed on like a shitty ass laptop that I paid way too much money for with like very weird internet. It was, it was the most ghetto streams I've ever had. It was when I just moved to Spain and like, holy shit, dude, I was hustling. I had to like walk from home to the office every day just to stream. And I could only stream during the mornings. It was so fucked up. I can't even ask. I was so happy that I moved to Spain. I was just so overjoyed that I was in Spain that I didn't care about the situation that I was in. But when I'm thinking about it now, it was it was fucked. Like there's no way I would ever stream in those circumstances in the middle of like a random office. I used to like listen to my dad. My dad was like, I don't want you to stream during nighttime because it disturbs us when you get home. I was like, yeah, okay, no problem. I'd, nowadays I'll be like, Shut the bitch, don't tell me what the fuck to do. Hello? Put on airplugs, I don't know. I stream at night, man. But anyway, I didn't care because I was so happy to be where I was. Cheese made Clint after he hosted him. I did host Clint a lot before he got popular. He had like 100 viewers and I would host him all the time with like 700 viewers. But the reason why is because I love that he was competing against CFG because I love OT 100% and I love that he was getting good at the game. So I kept hosting him all the time. And then like a year later, he has l more viewers than me and getting like a billion fucking subs and everything and it was crazy. It's all because of me. 2015, Clint was... He was probably top 10. And then he got out to second place, as everyone knows. He had like a 440-something, I think, back then. My first hundo time? God, my first hundo run was like early 2016. Um, But I think it was almost 8 hours. It was 7 hours, 40-something minutes, I believe. The problem with OOT is that there's not a lot of good resources for practicing and trick learning and that kind of stuff. It really is hard to get into hundo if you haven't played the game yet or speedrun it. Ha 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 ha! I I was supposed to catch the fairy. I don't know a backup. I don't know where else I can get a fairy, and I don't know. I forgot to grab the fucking fairy, man. I just forgot. I forgot to grab the fairy. Like, is something serious? All right, guys. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Thanks for watching. I'll be back. Mm -hmm.